Hey guys, um, I told you I would post another video, and I know it's been a week or so, but um, I just wanted to go ahead and talk about my injections, because I know some of you have asked what they in, entail or what I do, um, and I thought I would go ahead and explain it in a little visual. So, first of all, the medicine is Copaxone, and I have to give myself a shot every day. And luckily, it's not as bad as uh, the first medication I was on, which was Avonex, and that was into the muscle. And that hurt really bad, especially if you inject the syringe and it hits the muscle and your leg starts to spasm so you have to sit there and wait until it's done with the needle sticking out of your leg so it wasn't fun but luckily this one is subcutaneous so it's right under the skin and so it really doesn't hurt the only time it hurts is if you have the needle in and you don't pull it straight out and you kind of turn it to the side and it just kind of pierces the skin so that that hurts but like I said I do it every day and it's not that bad because the needle isn't that big so it's a small little needle and it's only about a, a couple of inches long which which is good and the needle itself isn't that that thick it's really thin so it makes it nice and luckily I don't have to do it manually myself you know inject the the medication the plunger I have this nifty little thing which actually um, it does it for me it's an auto injector and what I do is I just unscrew it and then it's in two parts so this part this little yellow thing right here is the plunger so I just go ahead and push that down and get that ready to go and in this one I just go ahead and inject the, the needle put the needle in and I push it down and then what I do is I go ahead and once it's in there I screw it back together and then this red thing I just pull this off and it pulls the cap of the needle off so I don't have to test the needle I don't have to worry about getting poked or anything like that so it's really easy and then once that's off this is ready to go I just go at well I won't do it to myself but this is just a visual I just put it to the skin push down and inject the little plunger right here this little blue thing and once it injects it makes a clicking noise and then it injects the medicine under the skin which is really nice and this little thing right here tells me when it's done it'll turn it's yellow once the injector or once the injector is is in there the plunger and then once the medicine is all done injecting it'll turn to red so then I know it's done and then I just pull it off and that makes it so much easier and I know I hope some of you who are on Copaxone have that same um, that same auto injector which makes it really nice so that's what I do every day usually in the evening so it's not that bad yesterday I did it in my stomach and I'm getting a little hard nodule underneath the skin a little hard um, spot and it usually is there for a couple of days and then if I rub it and massage it it goes away so it's not that bad but the medicine is working I am feeling a lot better 
than I was on the Tysabri, um for the last couple of months. So there's some improvement there. My legs are bending easier. They're a lot limber. They're looser. So I, I think hopefully this is going to be a good thing for me. And with the Impura, I am starting to really notice a difference. The Impura is still helping me. And I, I'm just so happy that I made the change. Not only do I feel better, but I don't have to worry about the PML anymore. So that's a weight off my chest. But anyways, I hope you all are doing okay. Uh, I hope the weather for us out of here on the West Coast isn't affecting you. Or the weather actually, no matter where you are. Because I know everybody's affected by the weather. And uh, it sucks, but... Luckily here, it hasn't been that hot and the weather is starting to cool down. So I can't wait. Uh, fall is going to be so nice. The cooler weather, I'll start feeling better. And I think I made the, the decision at the right time to go ahead and, and, and switch some medication. So we'll see. But I hope all of you guys are doing really good. And I will talk to you later. Okay, bye.